550 right now, and libraries across the Carolinas are beginning their summer reading programs. At the Spartanburg Library, they want to make reading too tempting to pass up with food. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg to explain. Hey, Morning. Christine. <laughs> hey. Yes, stand by. The food's coming. Get excited, guys. We will have plenty of that for you this morning. Local for local foods here at the Spartanburg Downtown Library, the headquarters, guys, 11 to 1. That's when you can come. And look at how many vendors. I know Sabila, a little hard to see. We put them all at WSPA.com. Don't worry. She said she needed to get her glasses out for those, but we've got <laughs> you covered. Uh, summer reading, though, this is all the kickoff summer reading, which, you know, can really help with that summer slide. We all hear about it now. It's becoming a common term. You don't want to lose all that education you learned in school over the summer. Yeah. We're so glad to have Brandy here this morning telling us just a little bit about this summer reading program and it kicks off today. Yes ma'am it does. It's nice. um, today in the atrium okay. from 11 to 1. What it's is a, it? So it's a kickoff program to adult summer reading. Um, it's a way for our patrons to connect to local organizations and vendors. Um, about 2013 this event was created by two assistants who used to be here. <laughs> they were really inspired by the growth in downtown Spartanburg and wanted to create an event that highlighted these businesses and organizations. So 2013, I believe there was a handful of vendors, and it was in the parking lot. And this year, we've grown to about 20 vendors in the atrium. Wow. Yes. And then I'll have food trucks in the parking lot, so yummy food to eat. Yeah. Um, and then it's just a fun event to come to. We'll also have a programming table set up sure. that'll be talking about summer reading, summer events. Helpful because a lot of people, this might be kind of their first taste of the library in a while yes. or maybe they've got a young kid who it, or they'd like to bring here for some of the certain events. Can they ask questions today? Oh, absolutely. Okay. We'll have a lady, um, her name is Jess, she'll be at the programming table. Jess, so any questions nice. you have, um, if she can't answer them, she'll definitely direct you to the people who can. This is um, targeted for all ages, so bring your kids, bring your grandparents. Um, yeah, and um, we're really excited about the growth of this event. Mm -hmm. Started with a handful of vendors, we're now at 20. This year I actually had to create a vendor waiting list. Ooh. So yeah, we're really excited excited about that and we're looking forward to growing it in the future. I love it. All right, guys, very good and exciting event. You know, anybody loves a little local food, but it's lunchtime, so you can come out to see that. And then, of course, all this, also that summer reading program kicks off. We've got a link at WSPA.com to their website for more events. Photographer Ryan, can we give them a taste of what's coming up next? Check it out, guys. <laughs> I had to do it. I know, I had to do it. Just a little teaser. We'll Sweet. see you in about 30 minutes. Sound good? Right. And I got my glasses on this yes. time. Sweet. Um, <laughs> Don't take it all. All right. <laughs> it is time to check in with Ellis and Brad.